Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this video I'll be predicting the 2022 European League of Football season. Watch until the end to find out. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's get into the video. This will be the second season in league history. In the European League of Football this year, each team plays 12 games in the regular season. So let's begin in the Northern Conference. The Leipzig Kings. 5-7. and seven. The Kings had a decent season in their first season in their history last year. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 5 wins and 5 losses and they barely missed the playoffs last year. They had a playoff chance up to the final game of the regular season when they played against the Panthers. And whoever won that game got a playoff spot, but unfortunately they lost that game 21-13. to The Kings threw the second most points in the North Division last year but their defense gave up the most points in the division last season. They went 3-3 three three against their division rivals last season. So my prediction is that the Kings won't be as good as last season and will finish in last place in their conference, but they will be the best last place team this season. The Rotslaw Panthers 7-5 The Panthers had a pretty good season last year by making the playoffs in the league's first season in existence. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 6 wins and 4 losses and they made the playoffs in the last game of the regular season last year against the Kings. In the playoffs, they played against the Sea Devils in the division finals and unfortunately lost that game 30-27. They went 5-1 against their division rivals last season. Their offense scored the second most points in the lead last season and their defense was the third best in points allowed last year. So my prediction is the Panthers will have another great season this year and will finish the new season in third place. But unfortunately, that won't be good enough for a playoff spot this year. Humbird Sea Devils 8-4 The Sea Devils had a great first season last year by making the first ever European League of Football Championship game. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 7 wins and 3 losses. In the championship game, they played against the Galaxy and unfortunately they lost that game 32-30. They went 4-2 against their division rivals last season. Out of the four teams that made the playoffs last year, the Sea Devils scored the least amount of points. In the regular season, they ranked 5th in points score and their defense ranked 2nd in the league in points allowed. By all means, I think that the Sea Devils will have another great season this year and will compete for a Northern Conference title. The Berlin Thunder 9-3 The Berlin Thunder had a horrible season last year by finishing as the worst team in the North Division. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 3 wins and 7 losses and they were tied as the second worst team in the league. Their 3 wins were against the Surge twice in Week 2 and Week 10 and their other win was against the Barcelona Dragons in Week 8. They went 0-6 against their division rivals last year. Berlin had the second worst scoring offense in the league last season and the most points they scored in a game was 40 points scored against the Surge in Week 2. Their defense ranked 4th in points allowed last year and the most points the defense gave up was 48 in Week 5 against the Barcelona Dragons. This season, I absolutely think that the Berlin Thunder will have a bounce back season this year and will have a fantastic chance of winning their conference title and maybe they could make an appearance in the championship game. So that's my Northern Conference standing predictions for the 2022 season. Now to the Central Conference. The Stuttgart Surge, 3-9. and nine. The Surge had an awful season last year by finishing as the worst team in the league. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 2 wins and 8 losses. After their Week 4 win against the Canes, they entered a 6-game losing streak, the longest of any team in the first season of the league. Their two wins were against the Barcelona Dragons in Week 1 and in Week 4 against the Canes. They went 1-5 against their division rivals last year. The Surge had the worst scoring offense in the league last season, scoring 157 points. The most points they scored in a game was 27 points scored against the Kings in Week 4. Their defense was not much better, ranking second to dead last in points allowed at 355. The most points the defense gave up was 57 Week 6 against the Galaxy. By all means, I think the Surge will be the second worst team in the league this season. The Vienna Vikings 7-5 and five. In 2021, the Vikings announced that they will compete in the 2022 European League of Football. The Vikings were founded in 1983 and originally played in the Austrian Football League and they still do. However, unlike teams in the countries that have made this move, the reserve team will remain a participant in the Austrian Football League. 
In the national championship, the Vikings are holding their record 15 Austrian Bowl victories. This season, they will be playing in the Central Conference. I suspect that the Vikings are going to be a good team this season and will be a contender for a playoff spot this year. The Raiders Tyrell, 9-3. In 2021, they announced their intentions to join the European League of Football for the 2022 season together with their league rivals, the Vikings. They were founded in 1992 and they originally played in the Austrian Football League and they still do. However, unlike other teams and countries that have made this move, the reserve team will remain a participant in the Austrian Football League. They are one of Austria's and Europe's most dominant American football teams, winning the Euro Bowl three times and the Central European Football League three times. Competing in the Austrian Football League, the team has won the league championship eight times, most recently in 2021. The Raiders employ the most full-time coaches and staff out of all European teams, combined with their special cooperation with the Las Vegas Raiders. Many teams, coaches, and players regard the Raiders as one of the most well-run organizations in Europe. This season, they'll be playing the Central Conference. So my prediction is that they will have a great first season in the league, and they will have a chance of winning their conference this year. The Frankfurt Galaxy, 10-2. The Frankfurt Galaxy had a wonderful season last year by winning the first championship game in league history. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 9 wins and 1 loss. Their only loss came in the first game of the season against the Sea Devils. In the championship game, they played against the Sea Devils and won that game 32-30. They were undefeated against their division rivals last year with 6 wins. The Galaxy had the best scoring offense in the league at 357 points and they had the most dominant defense in the league allowing 132 points. The most points they scored was 57 points against the surge and wheat sits of the regular season. The most points they allowed was 30 against the Sea Devils in the championship game. I absolutely think that the Galaxy will have another great season and should be the best team in the league and maybe they could win back-to-back -back championships this year. So that's my Central Conference standing predictions for the 2022 season. Now to the Southern Conference, the Istanbul Rams, 2 and 10. On October 15th of 2021, the new franchise was announced as the Rams. They were founded in 2004 and they originally played in the Turkish Super League and they still do. The Rams will be playing the Southern Conference this season. By all means, I don't think the Rams will be that good this season. And my prediction is that they will finish the new season as the worst team in the league. The Cologne Centurions, 4-8. and eight. They had a good season last year by making the playoffs in the league's first season. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 5 wins and 5 losses. In the playoffs, they play against the Galaxy in the division finals and unfortunately lost that game 36-6. They went 3-3 against their division rivals last year. Their offense scored the third most points in the lead last season at 310. The most points they scored in a game was 51 in Week 7 against the Barcelona Dragons. Their defense, on the other hand, ranked dead last in points allowed last season at 365. The most points they gave up in a regular season game was 60 in Week 7 against the Barcelona Dragons. So my prediction is that they won't be that good this season and will miss the playoffs this year. The Barcelona Dragons, 6-6. Six and six. The Barcelona Dragons didn't have a season to remember last year. In the 2021 season, they had a record of 3 wins and 7 losses. Their three wins were against the Berlin Thunder in Week 5 and the Centurions in Week 7 and the Surge in Week 8. They went 2-4 against their division rivals last season. Their offense rate sits in the league and points scored at 237 and the most points they scored in a game was 60 in Week 7. Their defense rate 4th in points allowed last season and the most points they gave up was in Week 7. This season, I suspect that they will be a lot better team overall this season and they could make a playoff spot this year. The Rhine Fire, 8-4 On September 25th of 2021, the Fire were announced as the third expansion and 11th overall team to play in the European League of Football in the 2022 season. The new franchise would be taking the identity of the former NFL Europe team after the league reached an agreement before the 2021 season with the NFL for the naming rights. In the 2022 preseason, the management announced that former NFL Europe Ryan Fire head coach Jim will also be the first head coach of the Ryan Fire in the European League of Football. This season, they'll be playing the Southern Conference. 
So my prediction is that the Fire will have a great first season in the league and they should make a playoff spot this year. So that's my Southern Conference standing predictions for the 2022 season. The team that I see winning the second European League of Football Championship is the Berlin Thunder. So those are my European League of Football season predictions. Who do you think will win the European League of Football Championship this year? Join me in the comment section down below and tell me what you guys think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified all new videos in the future. Make sure you share this video with friends and family and please get this video out there. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to just keep loving sports. I'll see you next time.